everybody and welcome to another journal with me video in today's video I will be using several different of my notebooks I'm using this weekly insert my personal journal and then a monthly a5 where I will be using the sticky club stickers I'm showing you I've created this layout using the um, fairies in the garden kit but um, I've just got a bunch of these sticker kits and I am absolutely in love with them I absolutely love them and I am not going to let them sit in that beautiful little folio and just sit there and be forgotten about. I am going to put them to use. I'm going to use them until my heart's content. And then once I feel like I have used all the bits that I am comfortable using, I will probably just start gifting the rest. Um, I just don't like to hoard. And I know I say this every single time. But I really just would rather throw a couple sticker sheets in a letter and be done with it and know that I used what I wanted out of it and, sh you know, share the wealth. I would rather do that than have it just sit in my office and collect dust. So that being said, I'm going to start using the Vintage Japan sticker sheet and I just want to put it out, in, uh, out there now in case you guys notice later in the video. But I struggled a little bit with this entire video. This video was filmed over two different days in really bad lighting and you will see the lighting actually gets worse um, once I move over into a different notebook but yeah I do apologize for that um, right up front but I noticed that I was trying desperately to only use the supplies that were included in the sticky club kit and I realized watching this video back um, that I cannot work that way. I have to have layers basically. And the sticky club basically is just stickers and then there's some um, sticky notes sometimes included or most of the time, all the time actually. And I just need layers. So you can see what I've already done. I've already basically laid down my layers um, using the stickers and then I'm going to layer these girls on top of that post-it note or the sticky note and um, I noticed that the I just struggled really badly not being able to pull from my stash to add layers and the reason that I didn't is because um, a lot of times everyone wants to know where I get everything that I use and sometimes it's easier when I film these videos if I'm only using supplies that I can link and not disappoint anybody and give someone the opportunity to gather supplies that they see and like. And in the process of doing that, I've actually limited myself to a point where I wasn't happy with the results and I'm just not going to do that anymore. Uh, I'm going to keep this rant short because I've already filmed this voiceover three times and the rant got really long and <laughs> so basically I will let you guys know when I'm using supplies um, from someone and that um, you, if you can get them I will definitely link it and let you know but um, if you're curious about something in particular please just ask me in the questions because a lot of the times the things that I'm using, I can't link. Um, they're vintage supplies that I find in antique shops close to me. And um, a lot of the times they are items that you can get that I can link to a specific shop for you. And sometimes they're just not in stock. And if I do link them um, in the description and you guys go to that link and it's not in stock, but it could be somewhere else, um, you know, that, that can be frustrating too. So if you see something specifically that you want that you're not quite sure if it's included in a kit or something, just let me know and I'll be happy to direct you in an area that um, will help you get the supplies that you want. But um, I just noticed it very, very clearly in this video how frustrated I was that I was just trying to limit my supplies to just the stickers and I love stickers. I really do. And I love these stickers. The kits are curated so well, but I also like adding in my own supplies, especially papers to layer. And um, a lot of times that's really hard and I don't want to disappoint someone if they see me using something and they go buy that kit and um, that item that they saw me use isn't in that kit because it was mine personally. They're going to get frustrated. It's happened before, you know, where they thought they were going to get something and then they didn't get it because it was mine and they didn't know that. And I don't want to create that kind of energy. 
Um, so if you're just not sure, just please ask. And um, I will try to be as clear and descriptive as I can with the supplies that I'm using and just make sure that you guys are aware of what I'm using. So that being said, I've completely finished the weekly layout and here comes the video with the awful lighting. I really do apologize. It gets overexposed um, a lot of the times. I'm really not sure why and maybe because it was later in the day and the sun was just creating way too much brightness and I have no idea. I feel really bad. I almost just pulled this whole video apart. I'm just like, nope. We'll just leave, we'll, we'll just trash this whole thing. But I know that there's someone out there that would um, in, enjoy the creative video. So I kept it even though it was frustrating. <laughs> so um, this is a new day. This is um, me coming back and pulling um, the new kits out that I got. I think it's Gothic Library, um, Vintage Dress Shop, and... Fairies in the Garden, I think, um, is what I'm going to be using in this journal and then in the A5 monthly layout. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that um, the fall season is upon you guys. I have been to all the shops and I love seeing all the Halloween and all the fall decorations. It's really fun. I love this time, time of year. I wish it was cooling off unfortunately it's still a million degrees outside <laughs> I swear I hate doing errands I try to leave the house super early too guys I leave at like eight o'clock in the morning to go grocery shopping and to do all the errands that I need to do I have you know I've had to take two kids to the doctors this week and I get to the doctor's office super early and it's just, I still come home soaking wet like dripping with sweat it's so annoying and that's probably TMI but oh I just want seasons that are like actual seasons not just scorching hot and then survivable heat <laughs> to see the leaves change and I want to see snow and I just miss living in the in the Carolinas that that area coastal Carolina has the greatest weather it doesn't get too hot in the summer you get a little bit of snow but nothing that shuts anything down and you get all this you know you get fall and you get spring and I just miss that area so much it's so nice but here I am living in Florida complaining about the heat every other video <laughs> Um, so yeah, this, like I said, this I super struggled with just because I didn't have any, any way to layer and I tried to use this sticky note to layer and I just, and I tried to, you know, layer with the washi tape so that I could, you know, anchor some of these stickers. But, um, yeah, I think I give up <laughs> towards the end of the end of, um, these layouts and just start pulling in my own stuff just because it was just messing with my flow, man. <laughs> It was just messing with things, so I just gave up. <laughs> um, yeah, so things are going well here. We are surviving. I have been nap training Lady Clara. She just refused to sleep unless something, someone was holding her. And uh, it, she is four months old now, and it has been a long four months, and I am surprised I've been able to accomplish all the things that I have been doing with trying to get her to sleep on her own. So the last couple days I've been sleep training her where basically I just put her in her bed and she whines and sometimes she cries and I go in and calm her down and um, reset her and I have, I mean she's my fourth so I'm an, I'm an old pro at getting a baby to go to sleep but it's been a little harder this time around because Clara is my my girl, you know? She's my last baby and she's my only girl and she's still dainty and small and she's barely 12 pounds and, you know, she's just a doll and I don't ever want to put her down, but I also have things that I have to do. I've I've got um responsibilities and requirements and deadlines and so I had to I had to sleep train her and today was the first day that I laid her in her bed and she didn't cry and she didn't whine. She just went straight to sleep and it was just maybe it's a fluke. Maybe. Maybe later will be awful. But I'm super excited. I was super excited about that. So I quickly ran back here so I could do this voiceover because this is a little bit longer of a video. And um 
I'm really hoping that she's still asleep when I uh, go back out there. <laughs> um, she's still sleeping in our bedroom, so her little um, little baby crib is by our bed, and my office is at the complete opposite side of our house. So when she is upset and I'm in my office, sometimes I can't hear her because we just don't we don't have a a camera in there yet, just because it's weird. It's our bedroom and. I don't know, maybe I should set it up. It wouldn't take but two seconds, and then I would know if she was upset or needed me. But here I am, talking things out with you guys. <laughs> so there you can see I have just um, brought in some old dictionary paper. I can't link this. This is just some old stuff from my stash, and I am feeling much happier at this point. I'm realizing, okay, I definitely am not built for just floating stickers. I've just got to have an anchor. I've got to have paper, extra paper to play with, and um, from this point on, I just have fun. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys still enjoy the process and you guys aren't annoyed with my inability to have a sticker float. <laughs> that sounds so silly, but um, yeah, I'm enjoying the process. I have really been enjoying doing my Halloween Happy Mail. I've been working on um, these cards forever, I think, and I think I'll be, what's today, I think it's going to be Monday, I'll be posting that video, and everything is, so much has changed since I recorded that video, I might, um, but I've already sent some, that's okay, I'll, I might film like a little quick hitter um, for Wednesday next week, so you guys can kind of see how it's changed a little bit, but yeah, I've been working on some Halloween cards and I've been stuffing them full of stuff. You guys will see on Monday. You'll you'll know exactly what I mean on Monday. But yeah, I've really, really enjoyed that process. I don't really get into Halloween a whole lot and I have really enjoyed it this year. I've enjoyed the craft, the Halloween crafting and um, I can't wait to decorate the house for Halloween. I told the boys we could do it on September 29th. That's the last Sunday in September, so I told them we'll decorate for Halloween then. That way we have a whole month to decorate the house for Halloween, and it's going to be fun. So, anyway, I am desperately trying to use up these um, Victorian vintage dress shop stickers, and not because I don't like them, because I love them. Um, I don't want them to hang around in my stash for too long. I want to see them in these spreads and... I end up clearing out an entire sticker sheet and I'm super proud of myself and I would realized that I hadn't decorated the month of September's calendar page yet and so I went ahead and just just vomited stickers all over this, <laughs> this layout and I um, I don't hate it it's fun I had I had a lot of fun I saved a couple of the stickers the stickers that are left now on the left hand side just because they didn't really pertain to sewing or dress shoppy so I can I feel like I can use those somewhere else but um, all the ones that felt like they were like for a dress shop this Victorian dress shop I went ahead and used them all look how happy I am <laughs> so yeah Sticky Club has decided to generously sponsor a giveaway the winner will receive six kits of their choice and a new folio binder to hold all of their new kits in all you have to do is leave a comment down below what you would like to see in the future, a style or a theme, and um, you will automatically be entered. And then if you want an extra entry, you can head on over to my Instagram account and follow the, the directions over there. I'm pretty sure the requirements will be the same. Just leave a comment on the style or theme you'd like to see, and then you have to follow Sticky Club and myself in order to um, be entered into the giveaway. But I really think it's a great opportunity. It's exactly what I was gifted, and I have absolutely loved playing with these sticker kits so I hope you will take the opportunity to join the giveaway that's gonna be it for me guys thank you so much for hanging out with me I'll catch you later bye